Okay, so my package just came from AliExpress. I you remember I told you I was going to I was ordering a microcontroller. So this is the package from AliExpress and then, then let's unwrap it or would you say unbox? I don't really call this an unboxing. This is just an unwrap it. So I think wow, this is where what it come it comes in. This is an anti-static package. And then as you can see, this is the the N16 R8 44 pin type C 60 megabytes flash 8 megabytes PS RAM. So basically it has like 60 megabytes of flash memory and then 8 megabytes of octal RAM. So that's the whole thing over here. Let's see if we could get inside there. And yeah, we are in there. So this is the whole thing and then yeah. As we can see is an ESP32 S3 and then yeah the quality of the board seems solid I I would do an update to see how good the board is but holding it in hand it's very solid it came with these pins I think these are the 44 pins the only downside of this is that it wasn't actually soldered so you have to solder them by yourself but apart from that it's solid solid and then on it you can see already that expressive esp32 s3 w r room one sorry w room one uh yeah basically that's it looks solid you can see the antenna at the top and then it has an onboard rgb two type c ports and then you know one is for UART and then the other one is just USB OTG. And then at the back here you can see the contacts that you have to solder together for the USB OTG to start working and then Okay so bringing over my classic ESP32. I've had this for a long time now and I I won't lie it has been solid. Very very solid. You know this is far faster than an Arduino. It has Wi-Fi on board, it has Bluetooth on board, but then the only downside is that first of all it uses classic USB, micro USB to UART and then has 38 pins, which is actually not a bummer. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a, it's not it's not a bad thing because there's a 32 uh, pin version which I also had, but this one has 38 pins, so more GPIO pins and then it's quite solid for what it is. This one already came so dead, but comparing it to the newer one, the one that I just ordered, this one has 16 megabytes of flash memory, 8 megabytes of uh, PS RAM, has Type C, it has an RGB LED on board, has both the USB to UART and then USB OTG. So meaning you can program using any of them. The OTG functionality means you can control this with a keyboard, mouse, anything that has USB basically can function as a normal USB device, which makes it more solid. And then yeah, this is quite solid. But then one thing to note is that to use it with the USB OTG, you have to sew that these two joints together as, as you know. And then yeah, this is the whole thing and then it's very solid. So these are the two and then yeah, quite solid for what they are.